Hey guys, this is Karthike from Apex Finsov and we're back with the daily dose of charts for the coming trading session. I hope you guys had a good green expiry. The indices particularly, well, uh, as we had discussed, they went uh, right along the same manner and there wasn't much issue with it. <clears throat> Let's see what happens uh, tomorrow. But uh, before we begin for the charts for tomorrow, out of all the equity trades that we had discussed yesterday for today's trading session, well, the green streak for the watch list ends today sadly because the day closed in red with three stop loss hits and one targeted. Uh, MFSL met the target and the stop losses were hit in SRT, PEL and Indescent respectively. So it was a red day for the watch list but a nice green day for the index. So overall it was a green day for us and well, I hope the same goes for you as well. Now moving on to the charts for tomorrow's trading session starting with the equity segment as usual before we move, move on to the indices starting with the first one that we have sr transfin uh, sr transfin uh, well it witnessed a huge selling pressure today so uh, you know we had a plan yesterday that well today we were going to wait for a pullback and then enter a long direction but the selling pressure was well rel relentless today it just dropped flat on its face and erased the entire up move that it had so now we are going to be taking short positions again at the closest swing high being 700 and stop loss going at 710 the ideal targets being 1% as usual moving on to the second chart that we have apollo hospitals now apollo hospitals well uh, we are going to take a long position here simply because of the sustained up move that it has been having so we'll be taking a long position again at the nearest pullback at 1700 again a round figure so it might end up acting as a psychological support as well Quite interesting. Let's see what happens. So we'll be taking a long position at 1700. Stop loss going 1680. Ideal targets being 1% as usual. Moving on to the next chart that we have, just dial. Now just dial will be taking a short position. Finally, it has broken out of the range that it has been trading in over the last couple of days. So we'll be taking a short position at the closest swing or the support level which it has broken recently, which is 366, 367. So we'll be taking a short position at 366. The ideal uh, target being 1% as usual and the uh, stop loss being at uh, 370 rupees. Moving on to the next one that we have PEL. Now PEL uh, we are going to take a short position at pullback. Simple higher uh, sorry. We are going to wait for a lower high to be formed and then take a short entry there. So we'll be taking a short entry at 1400. Stop loss going at 1415. Ideal targets at 1% from your point of entry. Moving on to the next equity trade that we have. Well, Indescent Bank. Now, Indescent Bank, uh, we are going to be taking a short position. This is again uh, where we had a stop loss hit. Uh, just like in SRT, we were hoping ki, you know this up move is going to be sustained and taking a long at pullbacks. It did not go our way. So, we'll be uh, taking a short position at the pullback now. So, we'll be going short at uh, roughly 534, 535. Stop loss going at 540 and the ideal targets being 1% as usual. Moving on to the final liquidity script that we have mfsl now mfsl uh, we are going to be waiting again for this range uh, to break we're going to be waiting for the level 550 to break we are going to go short only under 550 stop loss going 557 ideal targets one percent as usual now mfsl is the only one that we have which is well under a particular level so we just have one trade type uh, one trade where we'll be using the slm order type in place of the standard packet order affair moving on to the indices well indices uh you know it's pretty uh, simple uh, we had uh, good zones plotted yesterday as we discussed on the charts and those zones were broken it was very simple entries in the direction of the breakout uh, plain directional trading day to day so uh, nifty well there's nothing interesting really right now we don't have any high quality zones nearby what we do have is a uh, small uh, supply or demand turn supply now near uh, 11 120 11 130 and a normal support uh, singular price level near 1190 1185 so uh, ideally my lookout or my bias depending on how it has closed is to wait for a pullback and then enter a short position somewhere near 11 125 11 uh, 130 my stop loss going above the closest zone at uh, 11 180 ish levels uh, it might give a nice one is to do our trade just in trade idea for tomorrow now the option chain, uh, well, as I always say, fresh expiry is not really the most active, but the coming weeks uh, option chain, well, the fresh expiry is option chain. 
it is actually fairly liquid today writers have uh, jumped in so we have immediate resistance at 11200 with uh, about 800 and 70000 added contracts important resistance at 11300 with 700000 added contracts immediate support at 11100 with about 300000 added contracts again it is at the current market price so let's see how that opens out tomorrow morning important support at 11000 with 827000 added contracts let's see how those how this plays out um, you know price has closed at the immediate support as per the option chain so uh, let's wait it out tomorrow the first one hour or so let's wait it out let's wait for a direction to establish a trend to establish and then trade in the direction of the trend so moving on to the second index that we have bank nifty well bank nifty it has um, also closed at a zone that is about uh, 21600 21650 levels so how price actually interacts with this zone tomorrow is going to be the deciding factor however my personal approach would be to uh, well if it breaks that uh, 21600 and goes to somewhere 550 or so and the candle closes under the zone then it is going to be a sell on rise however if it sustains that then i would uh, look for a bounce trade somewhere near 21700 with the targets being about 150 200 points uh well um, going by the option chain for bank nifty we have immediate resistance at 21700 with about 45000 47000 added contracts important resistance at 22000 with 260000 added contracts immediate support at uh, 21500 with 95000 added contracts and important support at 21000 with about 200000 or to be exact 198000 added contracts Uh, let's see how this all plays out the option chain is uh, well you know it has uh, participants in a fair number so it might exert some sort of influence but uh, for nifty as i said the um, close uh, the price where it has closed that it is the immediate support at 11100 so wait for the opening 45 minutes or 1 hour of price action to decide a buyers and then trade accordingly for bank nifty there is this zone at 21600 which is going to be the key price uh, turning point you know deciding uh, decisive zone whether it uh, goes up or goes down depending on whether it is sustained or not now as usual if you want any of these charts feel free to check out the telegram channel the link of which is always in the description below at the rate apex fin so well sorry if i'm sounding low i have a sore throat so my voice might not be coming clear enough but uh, well we are going to keep the daily series on uh, nevertheless so don't worry about that as usual if you want um, any of these uh, charts the option chain any of it as i already said feel free to check out the telegram channel the link of which is always in the description below and uh, well that's it for today guys i hope you have a good green uh, trading session tomorrow and um, also one thing if you do uh, like the content that we have been posting don't forget to like share subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so that you don't miss a single of our uploads thank you so much for watching have a good night bye